this is James from Val White Marine. Uh, welcome to the walk around of this Haynes 35 sedan. We're starting off in a slightly different way today. Um, it's early February on the River Thames and we wanted to give you a brief glimpse of what it might be like if you own this boat, how warm and comfortable it can be to be out at the beginning of the season. Haynes boats are very much designed with this in mind, making the most of things in the sometimes inclement weather. So we've got the heating on and uh, with all the glass you get in the Haynes and the great view out, it's a great space to be even on a cold day like today. Just before I take you on an inside walk around of this boat, I wanted to step back and mention a couple of things that I feel are really nice features. Um, this boat, when built new, was fitted with the extended uh, side rails that go right round. So um, normally on a sedan boat, they probably end about here somewhere, um, but you have got this extra length that goes all the way along. So if, you, if you're moving around, walking around deck, you can walk around, feel really protected, either go in through that side door, which I think is another great feature, or come all the way to the here with protection. And then you can see straight away, you've also got handrails um, straight away on both sides and then down as you go into the aft cockpit. So it's a very secure um, boat and, and the side decks are wide as well. So you do feel very safe as you walk around the whole deck. Before we step on board, I uh, just wanted to mention safety a moment there with the handrails, but just mention about boarding and how easy the access is here as well. We have got the boat moored away a little bit here just because there's been some boat movements uh, on the river today. We don't want it too close, but obviously if you were moored, you'd be right up close here. It's very easy access. We're all on the same height. Just step onto that swim platform and then through the transom door into the aft cockpit, which I'll do now. Another feature um, which is great, your canopies come down to this point here when they're on um, and in, in a normal way you might lose the handrail there. This boat's been fitted with a transom handrail so as you move around, even though the canopies are on the boat, you've got somewhere to hang on to. It's a good thing to have. So very much a conventional Haynes uh, half cockpit here. You've got seating all the way around. There is the ability to move the um, saloon table, which is freestanding on a high-low. So if it was a lovely sunny day, I think you'd probably move that out here and then you've got that as a dining area as well for somewhere to sit and have a drink. Nice extra this boat's had added. Um, you've got a little um, wet bar and so on out here. There's a fridge underneath there as well. So if you're entertaining, you don't have to go all the way back to the galley every time. Talk to a moment ago about width of the side decks and your access. Steps up there, you've got the handle, and then as far as take a view down around there, you'll see what the access is like along there. It's really good. So uh, coming out of that cockpit, going in through the sliding doors, there's three, three panels there, they just slide across the port side. That is your view, and I'll give you um, a full detailed walk around of what, what everything that's in the saloon here in a moment but what I'm going to do is just go bow to stern first of all and we'll go in some sort of logical order taking you through the boat. So up into the forward cabin you've got a nice island berth there the storage under that so the mattress comes up uh, and then you've got a big storage locker underneath the berth there. Your main hanging space is on the port side uh, you've got backlighting in there as you can see Further storage, I like these shelves around the edge of the berth. It's great if you were you're staying overnight, you're bound to have your book, your phone, all those sort of things at the side. Um, and you've got power outlet there if you wanted to charge your devices. TV up on the bulkhead and then further storage down here. You've got a nice view forward, um, a bit bright and sunny so it's blinding and then an escape hatch up there uh, with a blackout blind. So we'll move aft, uh, view into the galley. Uh, nice factory extra, the boat's fitted with a microwave. So rather than having a microwave sat on the surface, it's all in the cabinetry there. That's a little bin, three burner hob. Underneath you've got your gas oven, which I'm hoping um, the condition, you can see how little use, if any, that that's had. Fridge over on that side with a freezer compartment in there so you can make ice for your drinks. Storage over on that side. Um, and then your galley sink there with a mixer tap. It's had added as in as an extra this boat as well, a freshwater drinking uh, tap which has got a filter on it as well. So there's your galley. Opposite your galley, you've got your shower and toilet compartment. 
Being a bigger boat, a 35 over the 32 sedans, which you see a lot of, it does mean that you get a separate shower. So there's a revolving shower cubicle here that comes round, so you're not gonna make a lot of splashing all around that when you're having a shower. Um, you've got an electric toilet there, and I think, uh, hoping, the standard of the Haynes fit out comes through really well. You've got a nice solid uh, overnight worktop and then overnight around the base of the toilet, so that looks smart. There is a heater outlet in there as well, so if it's a chilly morning, it's not gonna be freezing cold when you're in the shower. Yeah, so over on the starboard side, I really like this. You've got a freestanding navigator seat. That would be great if you were having a really long afternoon underway. Could be that uh, a long end of the season um, when the weather's cold, you're both inside, but what a lovely place to sit. You can have your book, your drink, everything up there, foot somewhere to rest your feet and a great place, really good views out over the boat. Helms over on the port side, I love the fact you've got the side door. Couple of reasons, great for mooring and coming in and out of a lock. There's a step there, you can just step up and out, but also it gives you a feeling of being underway um, out in the open air. So the seat, uh, sorry, the seat, the door uh, wraps around over the top uh, and you can see if you're sat in that helm seat, um, you feel like you're outside. There's also the advantage that you can stand up and, and stick your head out a little bit if you wanna see a little bit further afield. Round onto the helm. Throttle over on that side. This boat's fitted with a searchlight. You've got the control for that there. Your standard standard engine instrumentation there. Boat's been fitted with a chain counter and an electric winch on the uh, mud weight. Standard speed and depth. This device here is a remote for your bow and stern thrusters. So if you want to control the boat remotely, there's a lanyard on that and you can take that out with you um, and uh, just control your bow and stern thrusters remotely. Underneath, you've got all your breakers. I'll just show you in there. So they're easy to access. So coming round, you've got this lovely big U-shaped seating area in the saloon. Those two stools uh, are freestanding, so you could have those in the half cockpit if you wanted to, have them wherever you want, or, or even stow them in the lazarette. Um, that makes a nice uh, social eating area. Table's on a high-low, so that goes up and down. And then that centre uh, seat base over on that side pulls forward, and then that would create your occasional berth up here as well. So loads of space. Uh, it's a beamy boat. I hope it comes across in the video. It does. While I'm in here, it does feel like a really big, spacious, open-plan area. Port side, you've got this seat that uh, pulls out. So you can pull that out uh, and have that across the table as well if you wanted to. On this side, you've got a great place for your TV to stand. You've got TV area, you've got PowerPoint, uh, and then that obviously faces the seating area and then storage underneath. It looks like there's a spare impeller there. And the stereo for the boat is just tucked up under there as well. Just so that you can see that configuration, I have moved that uh, freestanding seat just pulled it out, so it's so easy. Um, just to give you an idea of how that area could work, you see there's loads of seating there for a nice big uh, uh, drinks or uh, dinner. And stepping back, taking an overall look, one of the signature elements of these Haynes sedan boats is how light they are, how much glass there is, and if you're on board in, you know, and you're having to stay inside because it's the end of the season or beginning of the season, the weather's a bit cold, you've got your heating on, you don't feel shut in and down below as, as you can in some boats. You've got all this glass, which gives you a great, great view out. Won't leave the engine running for long, but just uh, a quick opportunity, I've run her up. Um, just to confirm the hours there, which are on our listing. Uh, make sure you know you can see that you've got the oil pressure there. I've literally just started her, so she's cold. Um, but that's a, an overall view, um, because it's quite a nice, quiet engine. So following on from the engine, uh, it's a good moment for me to get the floor up. The engine access on this boat is very easy because she's uncarpeted. There's just those two panels there, very straightforward and tons of space for engineers to get around there. Nice clean build. You can see your weed filter is over on that side. Very, very, very easy access just from that um, forward floor panel there. So all Haynes boats are very much made with uh, longer journeys and longer periods aboard in mind. So storage is going to be important. You could be away for a two week holiday. Uh, very cleverly, because your engine's forward back under the saloon floor, as we saw, you've got that lazarette hatch there. 
Um, difficult to do one handed, but pop that open, it's on gas struts, and then you've got this enormous storage area under most of this rear floor. So if you had something like inflatable paddle boards or you had spare provisions, it's a great place to tuck that all away and it's very accessible, more outside seating. You also have these smaller wing lockers if you have something you wanted to grab very quickly, like an extra mooring line or cleaning materials and that sort of thing. That's the end of your walk around from this Haynes 35 sedan. I'm going to put the listing link in the description for the video. So if you're on YouTube, you can just click through. That'll take you through to our website. Please do contact us. She's in the water and available for viewings now. Alternatively, if you just got some questions about the spec, give us a ring. We'd love to help.